Hello, 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 everybody. It is your girl, Chrissy Pips. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to move our Ecomi off of Bitforex and into our MetaMask. Now, as always, if you guys are finding some value in the content, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on what's next. Go ahead, like the video, comment below, and most importantly, share the information with other people if you think they can get some value from it as well. But as always, if you're here, you're interested, so let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and add MetaMask to our browser, okay? So if you don't have this, go over to metamask.io and go ahead and download the extension. It works well with Chrome, Firefox, it works well with Brave Browser also, okay? Now, after you have downloaded it, make sure it's showing up in your like browser extensions bar. You'll see the little fox face. If you've never used MetaMask before, go ahead and create your username and password, and then write down your seed phrases, okay? After that part is done, what we want to do is move on to step two. So go ahead and pause the video here, take care of that if you've not already done so, and then come back. Now we're back. So after you've done that part, go ahead and log into your MetaMask. Then you're going to click up here at the top where it says Ethereum mainnet, and you're going to go to add a network, okay? After that, all of this information can be found in the description box of this video. All you're going to do is plug and play. Okay, so we're going to go over to chainlist.org. And then at the top, we're going to search for the network. We're going to search for the Go Network. What you do is you click Add to MetaMask. It's going to have you log into your MetaMask. And then it's going to populate this little box that comes up for you. It's going to ask you if you want to allow this site to add a network, okay? It pulls up this information, view all details. Um, you can compare this to the notes that I'm going to leave in the description box below so you guys can copy and paste it from there, but I did want to show you where to go get the networks from. Um, so you can copy this information or and paste it if you want to do it on your own, um, or you can come over to chainlist.org and just find the network you're looking for and click add to MetaMask and then view the details and click approve and it's automatically going to do it for you, okay? Now let's go back over to our MetaMask and I'll leave you the link to this website as well as the link to go um, inside of the description below. But let's go back over to MetaMask. Okay, so when you come over to your MetaMask, it's gonna populate the GoCoin automatically so go ahead and do that make sure that that's done the next thing that we need to do is go over to good old coin gecko and we want to add omi as an additional token so okay and i clicked it and i'll say it again so we're going to add it as a token so click import token down here at the bottom and then we're going to go and get the contract code okay so go over to our coin gecko website we're going to scroll up to the top we're going to search omi okay and you want to make sure it's the correct coin so you're looking for the symbol that is the circle and the sign for it is omi okay now from here we're going to click on go chain when you click there it takes you over to go chain and it gives you the actual coin address so copy this, go back over to MetaMask, and then add it here. Make sure that the token symbol says OMI and the token decimal says 18. Click Add Custom Token. It's going to show up here with no coins in it because we haven't moved any yet. Click Import Tokens, and now when you go back over, you're going to have Go and you're going to have Omi inside of your MetaMask wallet. So okay. one of the things, too... Um, we will be adding the Flare Network to our MetaMask. I'll let you guys know when it's available. It's not available just yet um, from that, that chain list website, but as soon as it is, I'll drop another video for you because that's exciting. We should If you were holding XRP um, in one of the qualifying wallets, you got a Flare Network or you're getting a Flare Network airdrop. Um, 
So, yeah, I want to make sure that you guys have access to that, too. So, look out for that video a little later on. But moving right along, right? So, just remember, anytime you are using your MetaMask, this address that's up here at the top is the address for the coins that you're going to put in here. Um, this wallet, the MetaMask wallet, holds more than just ERC-20 tokens, but you do have to be very careful as to what you add because it does not hold everything, okay? But let's go over here. You're going to go to bit4x.com. Make sure you log in. And then you're going to go ahead and click on assets. Now, some of the information in the next few screens is going to be grayed out for my own privacy. But I'm not going to gray out or blur out so much of it that you can't see what's going on with everything else that's on the page. Okay, so click assets. And then from here, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and click on spot account down here at the bottom. Then you're going to see the assets that you're holding and how much of each asset that you're holding. So we're going to go down to OMI. Then from here, go ahead and click transfer. We are going to take our OMI from our spot account to our wallet. Um, it shows you the amount that you have. And then you're going to click on transfer all. And then click confirm. You get a notification that says transfer successful. Go ahead and click the X on this screen right here. It's going to bring you back to this screen and then you're going to see your wallet now has OMI whereas before your spot account had OMI. Okay, so under the wallet, we are going to go over to our OMI down here at the bottom and click withdraw. Now please choose a withdraw address. You can add a frequently used address. So now here is where we're gonna go back over to our MetaMask and grab our MetaMask address so that we can tell Bit4X where to send our money to or where to send our coins to, right? So let's go over to MetaMask. Remember, when you copy this, it's the address for every coin that's in here. So click on copy and it'll say copied. Go back over here. Please enter so the name. So let's go over to our MetaMask really quick. Let's do this. Let's do account details. Let's name this wallet Go Omi. Okay, so I know what's in here. And yes, the code is blurred out for, because I don't need you guys sending me coins, please. Okay, after you've put the name in, hit the check mark so it saves. Now the name of this wallet is Go Omi. So we're going to send our coins over here. So go back over to Bit4X. Please enter the name. We're going to call this Go Omi Meta Mask. Okay. The wallet address, you're just going to control V or paste it here. And then email verification code. And click send. It's going to send over an email verification code to you. So go ahead and pause the video here, pull up your email and type in that code and then click confirm. Also, please remember that all of these exchanges should be connected to your Proton Mail, okay? You should not be logging into Google to go get this address, this, this little code, okay? After that, it's gonna ask you for a Google verification code or it's gonna send a text message to your phone. There's mine, go ahead and pull up that code and type it in and then click next. Okay, after that, this screen is automatically going to populate for you and we're gonna continue the transaction, okay? So this is the one that we're using. So select that wallet again. Make sure that you are selecting the wallet that has the Gold Chain mainnet on it already. Um, we already selected transfer all. We want to make sure that all of our coins are getting up out of this website. Okay. And then click submit. After that, when this screen pops back up, go ahead, scroll down to the bottom, 
the bottom, the bottom of the screen, and it's gonna show you um, your withdrawal history. It's gonna show you the process or the current status of your um, your transaction. So you'll just wait here for this to be finished. So I'll pause the video while this finishes up. Since we're waiting, fun fact. Um, for those of you who were holding Flow, Flow, today is December 8th. Flow is doing a mainnet update, so we may actually be able to get them on our MetaMask soon as well. But yeah, we're still waiting for the transaction to complete. So please hold. The good thing for you guys is like I actually can like stop the video and not record so you can kind of go straight through. So I'm going to hold for you guys. <laughs> One eternity later. And we're back. It says it's completed. <laughs> so let's go over to our MetaMask and take so, a look. Yep. Inside of our MetaMask on the Go Network, our OMI has populated here successfully. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them in the comment section below this video to go ahead and get those answered, okay? Our community always wants to make sure that you're getting very good information. That's why we do the walkthroughs when we're doing this in our wallets. Um, so you can see that we've actually done it. Um, we want to help you guys out. So drop any questions that you have below about this specific video. Remember, we have other content coming out soon. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys are having an awesome and productive day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, subscribing to the channel, commenting, sharing the content definitely, definitely, definitely helps me out with the algorithm on YouTube. So every time you guys do that it is absolutely appreciated so thanks in advance but like i said that's going to wrap us up you guys have an awesome and productive day bye